going on, everybody? Bobby Five going to talk real quickly through the Pebble Beach Open. I really don't love this tournament very much. I'm not going to be playing anything too heavy. Um, I'm just sort of getting my way back into golf for when the real season heats up. I don't love who we have playing in this, so I'm going to go by salary. You can see I listed my cores here on the site. If you guys haven't uh, checked it out, check it out. Those are the guys who I will be playing. Um, and let's get into it. So, all right, starting at the top, um, the 10K plus guys, I really only like Hovland, and I don't think you need to play him. I think you can drop down, but he is my favorite at the top. So he is the guy I will be the most overweight on over 10K. Um, fits with the, the Q tag, I think makes perfect sense. And if you want to play Spieth, this is the kind of tournament that these guys are significantly, the top three are much better than everybody else's. So I don't mind if you want to play any of those three guys, um, but I personally am on Hovland. In the 9K range, I actually like some other plays. Like I like Keith Mitchell, who I didn't core tag, but I really like McNeely and I really like Seamus Power. Um, I feel like Power starting your builds at his at his price range is a pretty appealing thing to do, if not McNeely. And then I think you could also argue for going down to Keith Mitchell as the next one for me. I'm okay with Denny McCarthy, but I'm not crazy about everything else in this range. The 8K range, well, there's a number of guys who I are all kind of guys I, I've messed around with at times and whatever. I think Smalley is my favorite, uh, along with Dietrich, but I'm not especially like in love with this range. I don't mind Burmester, I don't mind Lipsky, and I don't mind uh, Mulanex, but I'm, I'm not very heavy on this range in general. And I think that's going to be pretty popular for the field actually to be the same. So maybe mixing in guys like Kevin Kisner, uh, Lipsky, Taylor Moore, Mulinex, uh, even EVR. Maybe it's a decent idea for tournaments just because there are so many guys. That, none of those guys are getting any ownership in that range. More popular down in the 7Ks between 7,500 and, and uh, 8K. I really like Scott Stallings. He's going to be pretty popular. Love Davis Riley because people are off of him. I still believe in the talent of this kid. I'm always going to keep trying to be ahead of, be ahead of uh, the field on him. Then I love Kitayama down at 7,500. feels like a very, very cheap price for a guy who I think can actually make a run here. The other one I should have put on here as my core, and, and I'm going to edit that right now, is Will Gordon. Um, because I really like Will Gordon as well. I think that, you know, my most of my builds will probably have like four or five guys in the 7K range. Um, maybe four guys, maybe not seven, maybe not five. But I think they're all interesting. I mean, we go down. I like Hostler. I like Bramlett. I like Neesmith a lot. Um, I really like Kalen Tarum. And those are just of the of the slightly, you know, guys I feel better about. I think taking a, a weird shot on a on a Harry Higgs or a Kevin Streelman is not a bad idea on this slate. I'm just not doing it myself. And I couldn't really find much in the 6Ks that I loved. Um, so I think Doug Gim. Um, is one guy I considered. Uh, Jimmy Walker is another one I considered. Lucas Glover, uh, Doc Redman, Peter Malnati. I considered all these guys. I just haven't found anybody I feel great about. Smotherman is probably my favorite. Um, if I had to pick any of them under 7K, he's probably my favorite one. And I don't mind forcing him in just because of the ownership. Um, James Hahn, Totally fine with him in a similar sense to Smotherman. I like Smotherman a little bit better, but I have no problem if you want to play James Hahn instead. And uh, really, it's, it gets kind of thin. Chris Stroud, I've heard a couple people talk about this week, but I didn't get to him. And I haven't really gotten anybody else down in this super uber cheap range very much. So I'm not I'm not all that that into that. The one thing I would say is that I think it's a slate where you could definitely leave money on the table. I wouldn't even worry about it, the money side of things. Um, golf is always that way, but it's especially that way when you have, you have three guys who stand out as being better than everybody else. Everybody else is sort of in a meh thing. And I didn't mention Justin Rose. You could make an argument. Justin Rose belongs right in the category with all those other guys, but that's what I've got for now. I just wanted to give you guys a quick video. Sheets and I will be back to recording golf videos every week, starting next week. So this is the last time it's going to be just me and just a quick one, but, uh, we wanted to get something out to you guys. I did uh, put my core plays in, as you can see. And I'm probably going to fiddle with that. So they might change a little bit by the time you see this. Good luck to everybody. And I hope you guys crush it. Take it easy, everybody.